Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to show you some tech items and accessories I would recommend buying in 2022. Now I often show different accessories in my setups, but I've never done a dedicated video just about them. So if you're looking for something new for yourself or maybe a gift for somebody else, hopefully today's video will be useful. I've also linked to everything in the description if you wanted to check those out. And thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Okay, so first up is something designed to keep you from losing your gear, and that's AirTags. You can buy these individually or in packs of four, and they can be attached to your items or placed in your bags. Each tag actually pairs and syncs with your phone, so you're able to see where you last used it or dropped it. I've got five or six of these now, and I've actually placed them in my bags and on my keys. This means that if I do lose my keys, I can open the app on my phone and trigger a sound to hopefully find where the AirTag is. And if you've left it away from home or out of range, it will then use the Find My app and the Bluetooth connection of other people's phones to update its own location. It won't necessarily stop people from stealing your gear, but it will definitely give you a better chance of getting it back. So the AirTags themselves are pretty small, so you can place them anywhere. I'm actually using a couple of these Orbit Key keyrings, and that's what I place my keys on. These look very similar to the official ones that you can buy, but they actually feel a little bit more premium. Plus, I do like this minimal design. So here's something totally different, and this is a floating light bulb or lamp for your desk. When I first featured this on my desk setup last year, it got a lot of interest. It's an Edison-style bulb, and it floats above this oak piece of wood. It looks cool, and it lets off a nice glow. Now, the one that I have here is from Flight, which, although it's a quality product, is expensive for what it is. The one I have here is about £250, but you can buy cheaper alternatives from Amazon for about £80. Now, most of the time when your phone or other devices need charging, you'll be at home or you'll be in the car. But what happens if you're away from home with no access to power? Well, that's where these little power banks come in. So I've got two of these now. I've got one that lives in my bag for when I'm out filming, and the other is on my desk, charged up and ready to go. And depending on the capacity that you go for, it will take a few hours to charge it up, and then it will hold enough power to charge your phones, tablets, and even your MacBook. The one that I have here has two USB ports, so I can use it for a Type A and a Type C cable. Now these are perfect for days out, holidays, or as a backup when you simply cannot charge it from mains. They do range in price, but you can pick them up for about 30 to 50 pounds. So if you're using your phone to record videos like I do, whether that's for creating content or personal use, a gimbal can make a huge difference. Phones are definitely getting better at stabilizing videos, but I still use a gimbal for every video I create for YouTube. So I've been using DJI's Osmo Mobile 3 for about two years now, and I only very recently picked up the Mobile 5 version. Both of these gimbals take the iPhone 13 Pro Max, so I imagine most people wouldn't have a problem with smaller phones. Now what I like about the newer version is the magnetic attachment on the back, and that means you can easily take it on and off the tripod without messing around with the grips. But I also really like this extending pole, so if I wanted to get a lower or a higher shot, I can do that quite easily. Plus all of the features to control my iPhone can be done from the gimbal, including recording and stopping the clips, rotating the phone from portrait and landscape mode. I don't need to press any of the buttons on screen. On top of that, it means I can record so many more videos handheld without needing a tripod with me all of the time. I would definitely recommend the DJI range, but there are cheaper alternatives too, like the iSteadyX. It offers a similar functionality for about half of the cost. Now, you can never have too many external SSDs, whether that's for storing videos, documents or photos, or backing up your devices. I'm using loads of these SanDisk Extreme SSDs. I have shown these before in my gaming videos, as I use them on my PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Now, the reason I like these is due to the small form factor. They are incredibly small and they fit into my pocket when I'm traveling. Plus, I can store loads of these in my bag if I need to. They are fast and I can edit directly from these drives on my MacBook Pro using Final Cut Pro. They even come with a USB Type-A and Type-C adapter depending on how you wish to use it. On top of the external drives though, there's also the option to use internal drives, like with the PlayStation 5. I picked up one of these Western Digital SN850s for mine last year. This is the 2TB drive, but you can get any size depending on what you need. So for me, I think storage is one of the most important accessories that you can buy for your setups. Again, whether that's storing data or backing up your current devices. So following on from backing up your data locally, let's talk about privacy. And that's where Surfshark VPN come in who have sponsored today's video. Now, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, as soon as you go online, you are at risk of your data being compromised. Whether that's your location being shared or companies tracking every move or click you make, you definitely want to browse more privately. 
So I've got the Surfshark VPN app installed on my MacBook and my iPhone, and this means at a click of a button I have masked my IP address and my location. Not only does this mean I'm now protected from anyone knowing where in the world I am, but it also means I can view websites and apps not available in my current location. Take Netflix for example. There are always movies and TV shows missing depending on where you are. One account also supports unlimited devices, so if I wanted to, I could have my iPhone, iPad and MacBook Pro connected. And this is extremely useful when traveling too, as I can set my IP or location to the UK, regardless of where in the world I am. And this is ideal for checking my bank account or other UK based apps that I cannot do outside of the UK. But here's the best bit. If you sign up today using my link and code SPAWNPOINT, you will get 83% off and 3 months extra free. Now this offer is not available through their website, so you do need to make sure you click that link in the description and sign up today. I've mentioned this so many times in different videos, but adding lights to your rooms or your setup can completely transform the vibe. I have lamps and strips and bulbs all over the house that sync with my Google Home gear and speakers. I have a mixture of lights from LifeX, Philips Hue and Govi, Govi being the most recent lights that I've started using. So behind my TV, I've got their TV light kit, and that consists of an LED strip, optional light bars, and a camera. These then sync to the picture on screen and give an awesome viewing experience. The camera is a little bit bulky, but you can have it placed on the top or the bottom of your TV. But the most recent lamp that I've picked up is the Govi floor lamp, and this is definitely my favorite light in the house right now. It works the same as the strips I've got behind the TV with the ability of changing it to any color combo you can think of, but it's in a really nice simple bar design. So when it's off, it looks clean and minimal sitting here in the corner, but when it's on, it looks absolutely awesome. This can be controlled via the apps. You can have it set to any theme or style that you'd like, but it also comes with a little remote control. And do you know what? This remote has been more useful than I expected it to be, as it means anyone can turn it on and off without needing to use the app or any voice commands. So whether you're into watching movies, listening to music or gaming, having a good pair of headphones can be a game changer for you. I've got a mixture of headphones now depending on what I'm doing, but here are the ones I would recommend most. First up are the AirPods from Apple, and these are the latest third gen version. I often use these for listening to music from my iPhone or when I'm making phone calls. They sync with my iPhone and my MacBook, so the integration is pretty seamless when switching between them. As for the sound, they are very good for the size and the price, and the case they come in can be used to charge them too. And because the case that the AirPods come in is actually magnetic, you can use a MagSafe charger to charge it. And this walnut MagSafe stand that I've got here is actually from Grovemade, which is really nice. I have linked to this in the description along with the discount code if you're interested. Okay, next up are the larger AirPod Max. And these are an absolute beast. But if you're wanting something with bass, pure clarity and headphones rather than in-ear buds, these are incredible. Just like with the AirPods, they sync up with my iPhone, iPad and Mac. And as they are Bluetooth as well, you can use them on your TV. I'm still not a huge fan of the case that they come in, but they just hang on my shelf now anyway. Lastly are the SteelSeries 7P or the 7P Plus. These are still my favorite gaming headphones and I have actually featured them in a few different videos over the last year. But these are definitely the ones I would highly recommend if you're into gaming on say the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X. So this next one might surprise you and that's the Apple TV 4K. So most TVs have pretty much every app installed as standard, including Netflix and Disney+. Plus. But this little box offers more than just being able to watch TV. It can be used to airplay from your phone or your iPad, and you can play Apple Arcade games on the big screen. The app store on Apple TV isn't quite the same as what you'd expect to see on other devices, but there are loads of games and fitness apps here that are worth using. This one is the latest one, which came out in 2021, and it costs about £160. There are two storage options available though, you've got the 32GB and the 64GB, but I would recommend going for the smaller and the cheaper one, as you will likely never install enough apps to fill it anyway. So although I work from my MacBook Pro, I always use it connected to an external keyboard, and I've actually been using the MX keys for about two years now and I still highly recommend it. It's stylish, functional, and it connects to any device that supports Bluetooth. Plus if you pair this with the MX Master 3 mouse, it's the perfect productivity combo. Now, as I swap between Windows and Mac on a daily basis, I can swap between the two systems at a press of a button. It's got a USB-C port on the back to charge it, and the battery lasts me about six weeks at a go. But if you fancy something different, or you want a mechanical keyboard instead, this is definitely the one that I would recommend. This is the Equinix F96. I think I've had this for about a year now, and I tend to use it when I'm in the mood for a change. There's something special about typing on one of these. Now, whether you're using Apple, Android, or something else, having a smart speaker is invaluable around the house. 
I've been using both Google and more recently Apple speakers for general voice commands like turning the lights on and off, playing music, checking the weather or setting reminders. I've usually got my phone with me but sometimes it's just easier to walk into a room and say what's the time or turn the thermostat up. So whether you're spending more time in virtual classrooms or meetings or you want to record your voice for a YouTube video, audio is incredibly important. Over the last two years I've used about six different microphones and these are the two that I would now recommend buying to anyone who needs one. So this is my current one, this is one that I'm using right now. This is the Shure MV7 which is a USB powered mic that plugs straight into your laptop. It's basically the smaller and more basic version of the SM7B and it's also a lot cheaper. I've attached it to this blue compass arm and it lifts it off my desk but it's also one I would highly recommend. But if you'd rather have a tabletop mic, this is one that I would choose as well. This is the Blue Yeti X or you can pick up the Nano. I've got both of these and I'm really impressed by how good they sound. There are obviously other and more expensive versions out there but for value for money you cannot go wrong with either of these. Now lastly, which is kind of a bonus one, are these grid frames. So I've got a few of these including the Sony PSP and two iPhones. These are more of an art piece rather than actual tech, but assuming you are, or you know someone who is, into tech, these are pretty cool. What they've actually done is they've taken each item apart and they've displayed it in a way that you can see every piece in the frame. It's something totally different and they do loads of different phones and gadgets depending on what you're into. Okay, so those are all of the tech accessories or items I would recommend picking up in 2022. Hopefully there are a few ideas in here that you've maybe not thought about or you've not even seen before. I've previously done a best 10 gaming accessories to buy, and that shows all of the gaming accessories I've used over the last six months. I'll have a link to that in the description if you want to check that out next. Well, you've just made it to the end of today's video, so thank you for watching. And if you drop a nice tech in the comments, I will give you a thumbs up for staying until the end. And if you are interested in the Surfshark VPN deal I mentioned earlier, don't forget that link is in the description to sign up today. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on so you don't miss my next upload. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.